Let's start. The project name is Recycler View Radio Button. Let's see the project structure. Here we have the main activity, a model class, and an adapter class. And in the UI, we have activity underscore main.xml, which is the layout of the main activity, and a row underscore item.xml file, which defines the layout of the recycler view. Let's see the UI. Here we have the recycler view. The height and width of the recycler view match the parent. Let's see the code. The constraint layout is the root layout. And this is the recycler view. In the row underscore item.xml file, we have a text view and a radio button. Let's see the code. The constraint layout is the root layout. This is the text view. And this is the radio button. Let's see the Java code now. This is the model class, with a string variable name, and a boolean variable as the data members. This name variable will be shown in each row of the recycler view. And the boolean variable will be used to check if a radio button is selected or not. These are the imports. This is my adapter class. These are the data members, which contain an array list of the model class type. These two variables are used to handle to radio button selection states. This is the constructor. In the onCreateViewHolder function, we inflate the row underscore item.xml file and pass the view into the viewholder class. In the bindViewHolder function, we fetch the data from the model class, one by one, and show it in the text view. When a new radio button is checked, we update its state in the model class. And by default, we select the first radio button in the recycler view. In the getItemCount function, we calculate the total number of rows in the recycler view. This is the viewHolder class. These are the data members of the class. In the constructor, we set the onClick listener of the row. So when a row of the recycler view is clicked, we show its name in a toast. When a radio button is clicked, we call the handle radio button checks function to handle the check on check states of the radio button. This is the handle radio button checks function. When a new radio button is selected, we update its state to true in the array list. And we also update the old radio button state to false. Then we update the recycler view accordingly. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members. Here we have an array list of the model class type, and an array of strings, which we will use to fill the recycler view data. In the getData function, we fetch the data from the array, and put it inside the array list, as a recycler view needs the data in array list format. In the onCreate function, we have created an object of my adapter class, and pass the array list data in it, using the getData function. Then we set the layout of the recycler view as, linear. There are several types such as, linear, horizontal, staggered, etc. Then we set the item animator, and item decoration attributes of the recycler view. And finally, we set the adapter object into our recycler view. Let's run the app. As you can see, the first radio button in the recycler view is selected by default. And when I check a new radio button, the previous radio button gets unchecked. And even if I move up and down in the recycler view, the radio button persists its state. So that's it. That's how you can implement a recycler view radio button in Java Android. Thanks for watching.